So this is a poem I wrote for my cousin's 21st a while ago. Last year, I think. Yes, last year. Okay. In the words of Stevie Wonder, although it's a bit late, I'll say happy birthday to you. And Cool and the gang got it right when they said we'd celebrate good times. I'm sure you feel like Edda James is at last would be fitting right now. But we feel like Eric Clapton as we believe you look wonderful tonight. But know the dislike heat wave, our love for you is something that will always and forever be constant. And because just like our green, you bring so much love and happiness to our lives. But enough of the musical references. What I really want to say is thank you. I want to thank God for making you the man that you are. And I'm sure that after he created you, he had to sit back and marvel at his work. For you are a man of God, and you need not proclaim your faith on the mountaintops for people to know that you're a Christian, but rather that them see your Christianity through your actions. Thank you for allowing God to work through you, and for letting him mold you into the man you are destined to be. Thank you for being a living testament that chivalry isn't dead, for showing people that there's nothing wrong with putting your family first, for being someone we can always depend on, for the respect you have towards people of all ages. For the mere fact that your eyes can see beyond our exterior, that our sound waves always seem to hit your tympanic membrane and to send vibrations through the various parts in your eardrum in order for your brain to register what we are saying. That your words are able to comfort and console us even if you just say, "Uh uh-huh, at times. That your hands are able to fix things that not even manuals have the answers to. For not giving up on all of us. For always being there. See... My wish for you is that you will overcome any obstacle because with God on your side, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That any form of negativity standing in your way will be paralyzed. That temptation will be numbed. And that only, or rather, that all the false influences will be amputated from your life. I need you to continue being the person that you've been. To swim against the stream and to remember the words that you uttered. They laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because they're all the same. So strive to stand out because you weren't created to fit in. And yes, the depth of this poem can go far beyond that of the lowest point of the sea. It can even reach temperatures higher than that of the core of the earth. It could possibly reach heights greater than Mount Everest. But fear not, for time is not really on our side. But if it were my choice, I'd remove the Greenwich Meridian. I'd be in control of that hourglass. That stopwatch would be at the mercy of my fingertips. There will be no ticking time bomb. Because trust me, we would all love to stop time when you are in our presence. You have been more than a cousin to me. You have been someone that has assisted me in more ways than one should. Someone who has sacrificed a lot for me. Who has stood up for me. Protected me. Guided me. Loved me unconditionally. And it is my only goal to give you all of that in return. I love you.